What's up guys, welcome back to channel, welcome back to another video and in today's video we are here sitting with the F-150, not a video that a lot of you guys want to follow but at the same time it is our tow build, it is our absolute beast of a build and I cannot wait to make it this look absolutely so good and we're towing our track cars and all that stuff down to the track, it's going to be so sick for photos and everything like that and for those of you guys who are not too into trucks, I know a lot of you guys know what the Raptor is and uh, basically we got ourselves a Raptor grill for the F-150, I don't know because this grill actually looks really 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 good this isn't the base model grill so this actually looks really 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 good with the black accent and the red exact paint match some of these are normally come in chrome and they just look terrible this actually looks really 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 good and uh, we might end of the day end up putting it back to this one if we don't like the Raptor style grill but the Raptor style grill has always been a grill I always really 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 like and this company called American Modified they actually reached out to me and they were like hey we got a Raptor grill do you want to put it on your truck and I was like I mean this is the perfect opportunity let's do it so not only do we have a Raptor style grill with some LEDs and stuff like that but we also got a tune from JB4 that will push this thing an extra 100 horsepower, which is absolutely insane. This is another reason why I got this F-150. This is the EcoBoost with the turbos. So this thing pushes a lot of power while not spending too much in fuel. And at the same time, you could tune it and get that insane horsepower gain. So this thing is pushing around 300, I believe 310, 330 horsepower. And with the tune, you're pushing upwards of 400 horsepower and over like 450 foot pounds of torque, which is absolutely insane. Definitely need to upgrade the brakes eventually, especially if I'm gonna to be towing a lot with this and just adding that horsepower gains. Definitely gonna to have to upgrade the brakes. But yeah, guys, in the meantime, let's go ahead and uh, just start removing this grill and adding the Raptor style grill. I'm pretty stoked about it. Guys, I'm gonna have to take this out in the sun in a little bit, but that looks absolutely insane. This thing ain't moving nowhere. Once you tie up all the bolts and all the clips go in, this thing is in actually such good condition. Again, I'm sorry for the shade. Let's just go ahead and hook up the, the, the connectors right here for the lights. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how all this stuff actually works and how it's all connected. And even replace these guys in the end just to make sure everything is exactly the way we want it. So at this point, guys, we do have our three connectors that we're gonna need to plug our harness into. And then we're gonna try to route the wires in a very clean and orderly fashion. Probably gonna try to bring it down here and there somewhere and then try to get it to this headlight because we're going to be trying to tap it into the headlight bulb so whenever these are on, the center lights are on and whenever these are off, those are off. If you connect it straight to your battery, these are going to be on 24-7 and they will drain your battery. So you do not connect it to your battery. I'll show you guys how pretty much that's set up. So this is the harness you guys pretty much get with your kit. Just connect these to all three of the bulbs up there and then this pretty much just gets routed all the way to your headlight and then it's easy peasy lemon breezy. Just a simple tap in. I'll show you guys how you do this as well. Very easy stuff here but uh, let's just go ahead and connect these bad boys. Once you've connected the wires, you can pretty much just go ahead and close this bad boy. Mm, that was looking good. <laughs> and just like that, guys, the grill is finally in the car looking so good. Let's go ahead and just swap out those letters because it says oomed. I wanted to say four. So three, two, one. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> that looks guys. I honestly didn't think I'm gonna love it so much. This looks so good guys I wired this in perfectly because if you lock it it goes away when you unlock it. It comes back. That is so dope Sheesh guys that looks so mean. Oh my god. Oh my god Shout out to American modified for sending out this grill that looks so much better Now I kind of want to go wide and everything but I'm not gonna try to copy the Raptor the grill is the only thing I'm gonna copy but this looks so good. All right guys I am super 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 stoked tomorrow We're gonna go ahead and put on the burger tuning JV4 to actually give it an additional 100 horsepower So uh, that's gonna be pretty awesome. It's gonna be pretty awesome. So see you guys tomorrow same video See you guys tomorrow. See so yeah, guys. It's officially day two we have the jb4 with the truck i mean just check out these lights too oh they just went off but i mean that looks super 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 dope so every time you unlock the car they go on every time you unlock it it goes off i'm actually recording in my new place and uh, all the homes are kind of close to each other so i'm kind of kind of toned down my voice a little bit but yeah guys i really wanted to install this yes so we're gonna go ahead and install it today on my driveway shouldn't be too hard honestly just a couple wires we route it to the inside of the cabin on this car i believe it's super 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 easy so without further ado let's go ahead and install this bad boy and just in case you guys are wondering where i got this from 
subscribe is going to be a link down below. And there's going to be an in-depth install on my second channel, which is also going to be linked down below. Without further ado, guys, let's get into it. So if you guys order the JB4, you get the harness and you get the module. Everything comes in the box. And if you guys want to go ahead and on top and order this wireless adapter, this allows you to connect your phone and easily use the JB4. So I absolutely love this. You have to get this with every single order. This is a wireless dongle for the JB4. And don't worry, I'll be showing you guys to install both of these. So we don't need this just yet, which actually connects to the OBD. We don't need the wireless adapter just yet either. We're just going to need this harness and the JB4. And again, it should be pretty easy to install. <laughs> oh man, I cannot get over this grill. Easy does it? So now that we have the JB4 and the harness, the first wire we're going to need is this brown wire. It looks similar to this rainbow one, but you don't want to use a rainbow one, guys. Make sure you use the brown wire for the T-map sensor. Just go ahead and disconnect this guy. Connect your brown cable into the T-map, and then just go ahead and reconnect your old harness into the JB4 harness. The next connection is going to be underneath your engine cover. So pretty much just take off the engine cover. just pretty much bolts out. Take off your oil caps to get you to pull it out. And once you do that, there's this map sensor right there. You just connect the second piece of the harness. And then we're going to pretty much going to start routing the rest of it into the interior. Now that we have that one connected and that one connected, we pretty much just put the JB4 here next to the battery and then uh, it actually, the last harness that it connects to is going to be the one to the OBD. So let's go ahead and just connect the OBD real quick. So connecting this is actually very easy. It's literally directly underneath the steering wheel. It's pretty much uh, other way around. Connected just like that. And then as for this cable, we're going to want to route it through the firewall. So right up here, just push the whole grommet out and now we're just going to stick this wire through. And once we stick it through, just push the grommet where it needs to be so again stick the wire through push your grommet where it needs to be and just like that guys once we actually got the wire through we pretty much just put the grommet right back where it needs to be we're gonna just try to route this cable somewhere up here so it doesn't like sit on the engine cover because all these wires once you put the engine cover on you're not gonna even be able to tell we want to make this as discreet as possible so let me go ahead and figure out the best routing process and I get back to you all right this is what I think ended up being best we ended up tucking up the wire right behind there and there's a little clip that can actually hold the wire onto and actually doesn't fall out it's perfect so I pretty much just routed the clip onto there routed the wire onto this clip as well so this honestly looks quite OEM but yeah it's pretty much a full installation guys pretty much two connections routing that cable from the OBD to the inner firewall routing that cable over here I actually tucked it right underneath this little clip there and uh, it just literally puts the perfect tension and just put back on your engine cover and if you guys have the wireless connect kit obviously just connect it to there and bada bing bada bang you guys are good to go and <laughs> finally guys the JB4 is in the car we have the new grill on the truck we already do so so many upgrades so the truck right now as it sits should be already stage one so let's go ahead and get it a good wash go out a little just go on a little bit of a rip and see if there's any difference before we actually change the maps on the truck but i think as of right now we should have some extra horsepower gains without changing the fuel or anything because i believe you get more psi depending on the gas you put into the truck so if you put like 91 you get four psi if you put like uh 85 octane e85 you get like seven psi or something like that and then you get like eight psi if you go like race fuel or something like that something along those lines but right now with stage one i should get an additional three psi so it should be it should be a noticeable difference and then this thing definitely needs a wash like it's been sitting like this for a little bit so let's go ahead and take out the truck and enjoy it all right boys we are in drive and uh we are in map one so uh all right let's give it some gas three two one come on please come on come on come on come on, come on. obviously these are busy roads so i'm not gonna be going too fast but here's some gas Okay, actually, I don't know if the, oh man, I should have showed you guys that. Okay, it was a noticeable difference for sure, but I definitely want to push up the PSI. So you might have to actually put on some 91 octane in another video, because this thing is pretty much, it, it is, it, I have more than a half a tank. So probably down the road, I'll show you guys when I'm actually putting in the right fuel, but yeah, it's, there's definitely a noticeable difference. Oh, sheesh. When you first give it some gas, you don't really feel anything, then out of nowhere, you do get a lot more power. Let me go and show you guys this thing real quick. And you guys can actually hear the intakes more. That's crazy. That's for okay. Now I know it only probably went up by like 30 horsepower or probably like only 25 horsepower, but it is a noticeable difference when you guys are driving a truck because it is such a heavy car. So any more extra power than you get out of this thing, it just helps out. Like it just brings the truck and wakes up the truck. And I'm sure it's gonna help out with towing as well. So that's actually so perfect. Now don't mind me. I'm gonna go ahead and just do my thing and I'm gonna try to honestly not do this anymore on these roads. So I'll catch you guys when we're actually at the car wash because I want to give this a clean little wash give it a cinematic i'm just so excited with how far the truck has come we got some girls on it we got a uh, we got a jb4 on it <laughs>
just happened, dude? Just like that, guys, our car is officially stage one. I mean, my truck is officially actually modified, which is pretty awesome. We have the JV4. We have that awesome looking Raptor style grill. We already got some wheels on the car because it came with this, so that's pretty awesome. And we got a little tow hook thing for, you know, trait loose and stuff. It's considered a mod, technically. I don't know if it is or not, but it was something else I bought for the truck. Anywho, guys, I absolutely love this truck, and huge special shout out for Burger Tooney if I'm partner with this video. And huge shout out to American Modify for sending out that grill. I've always wanted that that grill i just didn't want to spend the money on the truck i want to spend the money on the bmws and the bills on the channel so when they actually sent that out it didn't mean the world so again if you guys like the grill if you guys have an f450 make sure to check out that link down below and if you guys have an f450 and ecoboost model make sure to check out that jv4 down below the m5 i still didn't get news on it. it's been at bmw for three days and there's no news i don't know how i don't know how much this diagnostic bill is going to be but anyhow we are still waiting on that i'm still waiting to hear some news i'm hoping we can get some news on the car figure out why it's not starting i did go online on the forums i did read some of you guys' comments and I honestly do think that the car wasn't ever driving after they did the clutch job maybe they did the clutch wrong so that is causing the car not to turn on but it could also be some kind of like fail safe or some other stuff that I'm just unsure of and I'm just really hoping we can figure it out because as soon as that car cranks over we're gonna try to knock out all the maintenance and make sure that thing is absolutely solid and I'm definitely gonna be releasing some merch that's literally M5 dedicated because that is an absolute beast of a car I want to get an exhaust on it the interior all carbon fiber steering wheel from Oz I'm just so excited I just need that car to turn on so if you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.